everybody. Hello. And welcome to our YouTube channel, where, as always, your hosts are named Carlos, and today we have a recycling episode. <laughs> Yes, because we promised this, I guess, a long time ago. For, to show a lot of people how we uh, work with composting. Now, we have a garden and uh, we really love the principles of organic gardening. Um, and so we want our garden to be kind of pure and uh, organic. Mm -hmm. And uh, in order to do that, we need to do a lot of things. And there's a lot of things we can't do, like we can't spray our plants and we can't use anything that is man-made. So we do our own compost. Yes. And we have uh, fallen in love with this uh, special technique called Bokashi. And now you know that we have a really big garden in our home. However, the cool thing about Bokashi is even if you're just doing it for, for plants in your balcony, it is a great, great method to do because number one, you don't need a lot of space for your compost. Number two, the way Bokashi works, uh, it's actually easy to do even if you live in a one bedroom apartment. Um, and there's no smell. So there's a lot of really, really good uh, qualities. Normally. From Bokashi. Normally, yeah. <laughs> that we're going to tell you a lot about. Now, in order to do Bokashi uh, composting, you will need a few things, aren't it? Yeah, you need to have a Bokashi bucket, buckets, or you can also have another one if you have. You can take any bucket, but you need two buckets inside each other yes. because you have to take out the tea, they call the water that ends up in the bottom. Actually, so. actually, you need a, it's a special bucket. Let's see if you get this out. Have to be brutal. <laughs> there. There we go. So <laughs> it's a special bucket. So it looks like, looks like this, and then so, you have this kind of a filter and you put that in the bottom like this and put it down so now when you put your food on top all the, the water that comes out will end up here and then you can open this and you can take it out so the principle of Bokashi composting is you're using a bucket and from here down it's there's space right so that you have an area here which is where the food is not in contact. Now, we bought these buckets, uh, we purchased these, um, and actually they were quite, I have to say they were quite expensive, uh, but it's actually possible to do it way, way cheaper. You take uh, one bucket and then you put it inside another bucket. But what you need to do with the bucket on top is drill holes with a drill. You drill holes like this, and you will get uh, the same principle. Now and then you need space also. Yeah. We've never done that particular one ourselves, but I did check on YouTube and you can get a lot of tutorials on Bokashi and how to make your own bucket. So if you don't want to spend money purchasing them, it's absolutely fine to do them in a very simple and easy way. So anyway, that's number one. Mm -hmm. Number two. You need the Bokashi. Bokashi brand. This is just like this is yeah. or like seeds. Or it's flakes and flakes? it's uh, double fermented microorganisms. Now, here in Norway, we order this through Bokashi Norway um, online. Um, a bag like this is good for six months. Um, so we need to use it within six Looks months. Like uh, and uh, it's very easy to get for us online. We just order it when we're running out and three days later it is delivered. Now, I have been checking online uh, in UK, in America and other countries, and it seems like Bokashi is becoming increasingly popular. I know that for UK, you can actually get it through eBay. Uh, I'm for America, for sure, on Amazon and other kinds of uh, places. I'm sure also your local uh, nurseries and places like that could have the Bokashi uh, thing. So all you need to do is Google Bokashi where to buy, and I'm sure that you will find somewhere near you to purchase or order online. So anyway, you need the, the brand, the Bokashi flakes, and you need the bucket to do Bokashi. Yeah. So how we do it now is that first you have to have, you start with the, with one of these. Empty buckets. And we have one we started already. And this has been on the veranda outside. So I guess it's a little bit water or humid. Damp. Damp there. Which it shouldn't. So first you collect all the waste for one day in a small, we collect them in a small ice box like this. So then in the evening, when it's time to empty, 
Oh, this is quite good. good. Then you put put all your waste on top of the of last <laughs> or yesterday. Yeah. Right. So here's a little bit of it's coffee filter, cheese, tea, apple, tea, rice, egg, salad, eggshells, eggshells, and everything. Uh, onion, <laughs> that was bad. And then you just put that on top. And I have to say this because you can't smell it, but once Arne opened the bucket, I kind of tried to. Yeah, now it's smelly, <laughs> but when, when Arne opened the Bokashi bucket, there was literally no smell. There is smell from this because this hasn't been with a Bokashi flake mm. yet. But this time we were lucky because there's almost no water on, on the lid. Which is good. You should That's not have good. Uh, liquid. And now, then you pay, take. Probably they say somewhere you should use a spoon or something. We just grab, grab a little bit and we spread it over. Sprinkle. Sprinkle this over. If you have shrimps or like shell from the shrimps or if you have fish, then we use a little, a little bit more. But normally we just take one, what do you call that? One, one fist. fist and, and spread sprinkle. it. Sprinkle it over. And then the principle, the principle is layering. So this is yesterday's Bokashi food waste or food waste. Now it's uh, put together with the Bokashi brand mm -hmm. and but we should first, actually think, cover it. Yeah, but I think we also, some, we also sometimes we use paper, newspaper or it can be the carton for the eggs or any paper like, but not, not uh, glossy paper. No, it needs to be this kind. And then I just took, Take press paper on top and I press it down because this should be there shouldn't be any air. There's also a small thing that you can use and press, but I think it's better just to use my paper. hands on top of paper. Sometimes I even step on it just and to get it down. And now you can put the lid back. Yeah. And what you do uh, when you do that with the paper, you're helping it to reduce humidity. So the bokashi will be completely smellless. So no smell if there's no humidity. So you want to do, you want to add that layer of paper on the top to be able to, to get rid of the, of the humidity. Now, when you go on your next, uh, next day and you do your Bokashi again, you could take that paper out and not use it mm -hmm. and then just put it on top again after you've done your, your Bokashi. This way it stays dry and that's what it wants. Yeah. It doesn't want humidity, it doesn't want oxygen. This is a this is a project a, a, this is a process called anaerobic fermentation. Anaerobic means no oxygen. So that is why we use the little one. The little one we use throughout the day. We take all our food waste and we keep it there from morning until evening and then in the evening we'll do the bokashi. This way we only open the bucket one, one time, time per day, um, which is very important. You don't want too much oxygen getting there. Now, for a household of two people like like us, uh, it takes about 10 days yeah, or to, up to 14 10 days. to 14 days to fill up a bucket. Mm. And that is why we have, uh, we have I think four, we have four buckets. Four of them. Uh, this way we always have an empty bucket that we can start using immediately. And so then, step one, is to fill it uh, with with food waste, add the Bokashi brand, food waste, Bokashi brand, and do that, uh, opening it once a day and making sure that everything is uh, properly uh, put in the, the bucket. And it's anaerobic fermentation, which is step two. Mm. So now this should stay for 14 days. Since we have four, sometimes they can stay much longer. So this has been closed for a week. So minimum Minimum 14 days. Yeah, so now what you do, when this is um, just standing there for two weeks, you have to use the cup and you empty the tea. The Bokashi tea. The Bokashi tea, because then you open this one. And let's see if there's still more. Yeah, you get this, they call it the Bokashi tea. So you have to empty this one every now and then, because there shouldn't be any water or liquid. And this is a super potent, super powerful fertilizer that you can dilute with water and this smells sometimes it smells really really bad yeah but this we use when we water our indoor water plants, indoor plants in or we also use them in the greenhouse yeah. and the garden so this we just put in the in one of these and then we add water and it goes into the garden so this very, is very very good like fertilizer and then you don't need to buy any artificial yeah. 
So this thing. is a Bokashi uh, bucket that we finished uh, a week ago, so seven days ago. It cannot be opened. Right now, there is a anaerobic fermentation process going on in this bucket. So it has to stay like this uh, for minimum 14 days. So after 14 days, you can actually open it and you can start using it. But from day one until day 14, do not open your bucket. So you start a new bucket and you put this one aside. Mm -hmm. And then we have one. This one has been there for more than three weeks now. So this now this one can be used. Used and and then we have a soil factory in the garden. So it's minimum minimum two weeks, but you can leave it for way longer if you like. And now the interesting thing that I'm sure everybody is wondering is two things. What does this look like now, and does it smell? So maybe we should open it and take a closer look. See what happens. Yeah, a little bit humid, but not bad. And you see the water is very wet. So, a little bit wet, but it's don't, it doesn't, it doesn't smell that bad. It's no smell, and as you can see, I mean, normally we use gloves yeah. for this. And as you can see, everything is kind of losing its color. Um, getting a little bit orangey. Um, it looks kind of pickled. We will mm -hmm. actually empty this in the earth so that you can see it that better. That is uh, a banana? No, a mussel. Oh, that's a clam, yeah. Clam, that's a clam. Yeah. And here so, you've got a banana, banana. And, and a couple so of other things. Now it's time to go to the earth, earth factory, factory and show you what we do. I will find my plastic gloves mm -hmm. and some soil. So, see you in the soil factory. Yeah. <laughs> so we're here in our earth factory, uh, this part of the garden where we uh, work with uh, our, or create our earth. And we use most of what we compost uh, through the Bokashi system. We use that for our greenhouse, uh, for pots, mm. potted plants, um, and also in the garden. We, we kind of add new earth uh, like to the existing spread earth. Spread it on top. Spread it on top to, to make it more nutritious. So here we are, we're starting a brand new uh, earth factory. Um, as the old ones are quite full, we will show you one of our old uh, earth factories so you can see what they look like. This is brand new, there's no bokashi here yet. It's just uh, branches and then some soil, just old soil from the garden on top of the branches. Yeah. I don't know why, but we like to have branches yeah. in now, the bottom. There's a lot of advantages about Bokashi. I already told you that it's perfect even for small apartments. You can actually do your composting indoors, in the kitchen. It doesn't smell. Another great aspect about Bokashi, or so they tell us, is that it does not attract uh, any rats or any other creatures or animals that would normally be very attracted to other kinds of composting where you're using other methods where you're adding oxygen. So kind of, you know, piles of, of old stuff and manure and all of that, that will attract animals, but the Bokashi doesn't. Except, <laughs> except it seems as if our dog, Freya, is the only animal in the world that actually is very attracted to Bokashi. So we actually have to make these pallets very high so that she doesn't reach them because otherwise she is going to be in here looking for bones because mm. bones aren't a... They take a little bit longer. Sometimes we can find like one or two bones in two-year-old soil, but most of it is actually gone. Yes, so, most of it. But sometimes, so when we put this soil in the garden, we're very careful. We go through the soil and check that there is no bo bones left. But most of the most of the bones are are, are actually gone. gone. Yeah. So what we do now is we we take and put this in the factory. <laughs> and again, as I was saying before, there's no there's no smell whatsoever. So we just put this on top. Okay, smells a little, a little bit from a the bottom. Smell now. And now this needs to have this one. So you can see here is like lemon and avocado. Actually the seeds from the avocado also disappears. Yeah. It's not nice. You don't want to touch it. <laughs> no, no, no thank you. It's kind of pickled. Yeah. And here's like a little bit of everything. And now we're gonna have soil on top of this to cover it up. 
And this you have to wash very good. You have sometimes we use edic vinegar, vinegar, to and mix that in the water to get rid of the smell. So. Well, there's a little smell here, but it's not a. It's not bad. It's not like a rotten smell. So this is two year old soil. We have to put soil on top. So this way the soil is going back and forth in the garden. There's a nice big worm there. Yeah. So just cover this up. Need one more. And like in next year, this can be nice soil for the pots again. Actually, the process, once you start blending it with soil, it will go quite fast. Yeah. So from, uh, from now and in about two, three weeks already, most of this will be completely decomposed. This. Then you just cover it up. There's some really nice worms here. Yep. That's always a good sign. Uh, maybe I should find one more. So but just try, you try to cover up all the food. Yeah. So there's a few, a few things uh, that you don't put in your bokashi. You don't put any liquid. Remember, it should be dry. Um, some dairy products uh, you should be aware, aware yeah. of also are not good for the bokashi. So, you know, don't put milk and stuff like that or, or cream, or, cream or... or things like that. Stay away from that and uh, just make sure that there's no humidity in the bokashi. If there's no humidity, it won't smell. So, let's go and look at last year's Bukas Bukashi. Yes, let's go to the other earth factory that we have and then you'll see what it looks like now. Okay. <laughs> okay, so here we are in uh, another part of our earth factory. <laughs> uh, this here is uh, last year's Bokashi yep. earth. We have thrown in potatoes, like really old potatoes that we found in our kitchen. I think we found them in May sometime, aren't yeah. we? Yeah, let me just we, put them we in. We just threw them in and I mean, it's unbelievable how powerful and how, look at this. So this maybe is, we have potatoes down here. This is quite a few, quite a few really big potato stems. Look at this. And this shows you how incredibly uh, good the earth is. This is really one of the most amazing things. If we put tomatoes, if we plant tomatoes in Bokashi earth, they just grow double the size of what they would have done otherwise, the, 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 the tomato plants. Uh, when we do basil, we go and we buy basil in the supermarket, you know, the really bad quality one that is actually made not to last. Mm. But in the summer, when we get that and we mix it with Bokashi earth, after a month, we have a huge, huge. basil bush. And they bloom. That blooms and it's really, really strong, mm. like strong stems like this. So and it's incredible, it, really. But this is what we had last summer and what we had during the winter. So in the winter, we just put it down. We empty the bucket here and we just let it freeze. And then as soon as possible in spring, we put soil on top and we put uh, weeds from the garden. You see, we didn't plant them. They were like lying almost on the top. So they are a little bit green. But this soil is get, starting to get really nice now. Oh, there's nice potatoes here, look. Yeah. So we have, this is a good one. Mm -hmm. So this is uh, also, it's also nice to put potatoes in the, in the compost because it gives um, nitrogen. Nitrogen. So nitrogen to the, the soil. And the, the, the soil that has had potatoes is actually very nice. And here you can see the soil a year old, very, very, um, it's nice, huh? Yeah, this is really... It's really nice earth, it's quite rich. So we can dig deep here if you want to, but you see, it's also a place where you can have potatoes. Maybe it's a little bit early to take, some of these are small. But it's a very nice way to, to, to do compost. Well, there's more potatoes down here. And here's some of the paper that we used. And there's still some eggshell there. So this can actually be there for maybe one more year. Mm. Yeah, it's amazing. This is our so, earth factory. So this is what we do with our food waste. Uh, we try not to throw away too much food. I hate throwing away food, but 
all the waste that we have is always going back into our garden in another form and then it's helping us uh, get really nice earth. We're in the process of uh, creating a kitchen garden. We've been doing a lot of uh, work here. We're rebuilding a studio. Uh, so part of our garden is not in good shape. We have to get the garden back to you know, the state that it was before and then create a kitchen garden. So all this Bokashi earth will come in handy. We'll be using our food waste to create more food in an organic and sustainable way, which I think is very important. And it's very important for all of us to do our bit uh, to take the responsibility to make the earth um, a better place. So uh, if, you have, if you live in a small apartment and you've found this idea appealing, maybe your small apartment building has a, a little garden where you could actually uh, do your bokashi. Uh, get yourself the buckets. You don't have to spend a lot of money on the buckets. You can make them yourself. Get your bokashi brand and uh, you could actually start this today yeah. if you wanted to. And if you don't have a place in winter, you can just have a bigger uh, plastic, um, like a box with yes. lid, and then you can empty it in that, and you can buy soil, like the one you can buy from um, the from the nursery schools. Nursery schools. Guard, yeah. They have those uh, bags with soil, and then you can just put it there, and you spread the soil over, and you can make soil in your basement. Yeah, so this is a little bit about Bokashi. If you're interested in uh, learning more, you can just Google Bokashi uh, and uh, it will tell you everything else that you need to know. We have just shown you the way that we do our Bokashi here in our organic garden. And we love it and we, we don't have to buy soil anymore because we make it ourselves. Yeah. So everybody, we need just to finish this video by uh, giving you a little bit of the facts and things that uh, we usually say every week. If you like our episode, give it a big thumbs up. Uh, please remember that the best way to keep in touch with us is by subscribing to our newsletter. And please be part of the Arne and Carlos family if you are not. And the way you can do that is by subscribing to our channel. Uh, oh, and we're going to have potatoes for dinner. Fresh so, potatoes. Uh, fresh potatoes coming butter. right up. So thank you so much for watching. <laughs> and uh, we will see you again uh, next week with new episodes here on the Arne and Carlos YouTube channel. Bye. Bye.